today is the next morning from when I assembled the chase cam. It's a little brighter than I would actually like. Um, I like to see my kids off to school in the morning. I'm only home on leave for so long. That kind of eats about an hour of when I would like to be at the field, uh, but it's all good. Should have plenty of time. Uh, we're talking three mile an hour winds, I think gusting to six. So I looked up PPG smoke videos on YouTube, saw the right way to assemble it, which was not how I did it. The first time I did it, I put it together in a, in a ring uh, and then tried to put the end cap on. That don't necessarily need directions, especially with YouTube videos out there. I should have done that. I YouTube everything anyway. Uh, why I didn't do that, I have no idea. <laughs> Wind feels the same, nothing. Warm up the motor, clip in, send it. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna land. I heard something just, uh, just like a hundred foot above the ground. It's a loud kind of a poppiness. So I think I'm gonna land and check it out. And I realized there was no wind on the ground, but I kind of took off. Uh, I kind of took off downwind as well, because uh, I I know the way that I want to drift now. And it's uh, there's a, a lot higher wind up here. I'm not penetrating very fast. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open my risers yet. But there's enough wind up here that without power, I'm pretty much just floating down. It doesn't feel windy, it's not gusty at all. I'm gonna try to land somewhat close to my truck and uh, just look my motor over, make sure nothing happened with whatever that sound was. I'm not sure what it was, but it's worth checking. I think I'm gonna circle around and come in on more of a lower path. That was close. Ow! I swooped down off a low. And the frame came down and hit me in the back of the calf. That kind of sucked. We go unsnapped, and I'm going to just check everything over just to make sure. I don't know what that, I don't know what that pop was, but I'd say with the propeller, anytime you hear a noise, you might as well land and check it out. Oh, yeah. There's a hole in my prop right there. Something came out. Check all my bolts. Ow, that's hot. What a retard. All my main bolts are good. Exhaust, one, two, three, one, two, three. Silencer, got its bolt. One, two, three. Still got my air box, zip tie, zip tie cable. I have a spare prop, but I don't know that I want to fly until I find out uh, what it was. Going way too fast for the chase cam to have caught up to it. No, that wasn't the thing. We're still rolling there. That thing would shatter if it hit. It's, it's thin plastic. Oh, there it is. 
that would be the that secondary safety buckle they said was for uh in case you go upside down the one that's tied down the one that's uh, tied down right here i'm missing my buckle for it i guess it's better than an important bolt falling out or something but that's still that's four hundred dollar buckle i'm not sure if that can be repaired or not i'm too new to know I am going to tie this in a giant knot right now. That makes me realize right there that anything you hear, you might as well stop and figure out what it was. The prop doesn't just make sounds for no reason. I probably could have flown that the rest of my time and been fine. But why risk it? Because what if it uh, what if it delaminated the rest of that? That's the leading edge, the leading, leading wing, wing tip. What if that just blew the rest of it off and now I'm crazy unbalanced up there. That would suck. I don't know if that's repairable or not. But I don't think I have my prop here either. I think it's at the house. Actually, I know it's at the house. So I'm going to pack all this up and we'll get my final thoughts. You didn't see me throw a small tantrum out in that field, did you? <laughs> well, I lost a prop. I, uh, the, the very bottom straps that go behind you and down to the bottom of the frame, they're wrapped around the frame, back through their buckle a couple times. One of those buckles came undone and went through the prop. Crazy how a 25 cent piece can cost you $400. So uh, I have another prop. I have a spare prop at home, not here. Why I don't have it with me, I have no idea. That's, uh, that's something that'll change as well, but now I don't have a spare prop, so I'll have to... I have half a spare prop, I guess. Um, technically, they're the same piece on each side, right? Just twisted the other way to, to go together. So I guess that one, if I were to lose another half a prop and then buy one, then I would have a spare prop. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not sure... I should have time to go home and get it and come back. But I'm not sure if I want to now. I think that kind of kind of ruined it for me. Not to sound like a Debbie Downer here, but uh, I don't know that I want to drive back, get my prop, swap it out, drive back here, lay all out, and go again. Um, I think there's just... I think today is just one of those, there's always another day. So uh, I did hit my leg kind of hard in the back of my calf. I'm gonna have a bruise there. I swooped down. I wanted to get a nice long swoop in, and I did. I, I waited long enough, pulled it slow enough to uh, got a nice right above ground swoop. I actually had to pick up my legs a little bit. The problem was by the time I by the time I set my feet down, I the motor and all that was so far behind me that as I stood up, I was I was kind of like squat walking, like crab walking, and so. Uh, the bottom of the frame whacked me in the calf. I guarantee I'm gonna have a old man bruise there. Um, just like my biceps, my biceps uh, from leaning on those acro bars are, uh, are really bruised up, but it's all good. I guess this is one of those, at least it's not worse. The motor didn't blow up, I didn't fall out of the sky. So the positive side of it, if you wanna take it there. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, punch that thumbs up button in the face, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Shh.